Hi guys, welcome back to a new video in After Effects. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this bouncy text animation in After Effects. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and turn on the notification so you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. To get started, we will start with a new composition of 1920 into 1080 with a 30 second duration. Uh, we don't need 30 seconds, we will just keep it there. And uh, we'll start with our first letter of our title. Here I'm going with the uh, title text uh, as a text only. So I'm going to uh, start typing letter T. And uh, you can just select any text you want. And uh, make sure that the uh, word point of that uh, uh, letter is actually at the uh, bottom of our uh, letter. And uh, you can just uh, manually move it uh, using the pan behind tool. Here I'm using a simple plugin uh, called uh, Motion Tools. And after that, we'll just align it to the center of our composition. After that, uh, we can just go to the scale property of that letter and we'll just go to maybe around 10 uh, frames and we'll just uh, uh, give a uh, scale value of 100%. And then again, we'll just uh, move to uh, 10 seconds and move uh, that uh, key over there. And uh, at the middle value, we'll just uh, uh, increase the value to 130 and at the zero value we'll just keep it at zero so uh, you can see in the beginning it will be zero and uh, gradually it will be uh, scaling up and uh, scaling down back to its original position after that we can just select all the keyframes and we'll go to graph editor and we'll just make that uh, animation a bit more sharper uh, so uh, the easing a bit more sharper so we have a really dynamic uh, animation happening so if you play the animation you can see uh, the animation is happening and it's actually really uh, looking really good and uh, if you want to uh, uh, change uh, the easing and all if you don't want to have a like a uh, really uh, sharp easing uh, you can just edit that values as well uh, here i am going with the uh, this uh, same value itself after that uh, we just have to uh, uh, create a small you know uh, position animation so at the 10 frame margin we'll just go to uh, position value and add a position uh, keyframe and at the zero value uh, we'll just uh, move that uh, keyframe uh, uh, move that letter outside of our uh, uh, composition so uh, the letter will be coming outside so here i'm just uh, uh, adding the keyframe halfway so uh, we can actually at least select it and it will be a bit more visible after that we'll just move that uh, keyframe back to its original uh, zero second margin after that we can just select uh, all the keyframes uh, or you know you can just if you can manually match the uh, easing uh, you can just do it for uh, position itself or uh, if you want to uh, have both the easing of a uh, scale and position equally you can just select all the keyframes and uh, manually do the key uh, easing once more here you can see uh, easing it's uh, it's a little uh, uh, sharper so we can actually adjust the easing and the keyframe uh, timing and things like that uh, uh, afterwards so here what i am doing is uh, i'm just uh, moving the scale uh, keyframes a bit uh, forward so the position will be happening after that uh, the scaling will be happening so uh, by the time the scale will happen we'll be able to see the letters as are actually animating and uh, uh, like i said before uh, in order to match all the easing properly you can just select uh, the both the position and the uh, scale values and uh, you can just manually uh, adjust that uh, uh, easing for both of them uh, together so you will have a uh, easing for both of them at the same time and uh, when you are uh, easing make sure that uh, all the easing uh, when you are actually selecting and easing multiple uh, keyframes at the time uh, you make sure that everything is properly eased uh, here you can see uh, we are getting a bit more of a jump so i just resetted the entire uh, easing one more once more and uh, resetting the easing uh, again so now you can see uh, the animation is actually done and the easing for the position and uh, uh, scaling is actually happening simultaneously and it's actually giving us a bit more you know uh, really good effect after that uh, we'll just add a fill uh, effect onto that letter so we can have a simple uh, color changing effect as well so 
uh, after adding the fill color we can just select uh, any colors you want here i am going with a bit of a you know violet uh, kind of color and uh, as a default color so this will be the original color of our keyframe uh, and we'll just go back to uh, uh, a bit uh, back and uh, by the time we'll be able to see that color we'll just change that color to uh, a different color so in the beginning the color will be uh, a different color uh, by the time the animation completes uh, it will change into a different color so uh, that will give us a bit more you know interesting look to our animation as well so once that letter uh, animation is completed uh, you can uh, uh, once you make all the easing everything and the timing everything perfect then you can start uh, duplicating that letter and uh, typing uh, changing the uh, letter to the rest of our uh, letters uh, for our title so uh, what i'll do is uh, 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 for a reference uh, to place each of the letters i'll just type in title and uh, after that i'll just align uh, that uh, uh, letter uh, to the center of our composition and i'll just reduce the opacity and uh, i'll just locate uh, so we have a reference to place each of these letters uh, individual letters uh, so we'll have equal spacing everything properly after that i'll just lock the layer and uh, uh, we can just uh, double click on the last keyframe of the position and we can just uh, move that letter and align it to the first letter of our title uh, which is letter t and uh, when you are aligning uh, if you want to have a uh, like really close alignment uh, make sure that you are aligning uh, properly after you zoom in a little bit uh, once you are happy with that value and uh, you can just adjust the curves of the position as well in order to make sure everything is animating properly then uh, once you are happy with it you can just duplicate that uh, layer letter layer and you can just change each of these letters and you can just start uh, uh, moving the position of each of the letters and align with our reference layer so uh, here i am just duplicated the letter i and i do uh, position it again after that uh, you can just uh, move forward and uh, uh, duplicate uh, rest of the letters and uh, uh, do the same thing as before we can just duplicate uh, rename and after that we can align so since uh, uh, we actually uh, move that our uh, first uh, keyframe position to outside of our composition the letter will be each of these letters will be coming uh, from outside of composition uh, but it will be uh, coming in uh, the end keyframes only the end keyframes will be different and when you are moving the position make sure that you are double clicking the second uh, keyframe after that only you are changing and if you haven't double clicked uh, wherever your uh, cursor is there uh, uh, time line is there uh, there a new key will be uh, added and it will uh, hamper with your animation as well uh, once you are happy with it uh, if you play the animation you can see all of the letters are coming simultaneously and uh, all of them are bouncing and animating uh, properly the next thing is uh, in order to have the, each of these letters uh, bouncing individually we need to uh, uh, stagger them uh, a little bit so when you are manually doing it uh, you can just align them uh, how many however frames you want here I am just going with the three, uh, three or four uh, uh, frames gap. Uh, here I am just selecting three frames. So uh, I'll just move three frames at a time, and uh, I'll align each of these letters, each of these layers manually. Uh, so when you have a lot of uh, uh, layers, uh, for example, you have a long uh, title text, and uh, you manually doing it will be a uh, difficult uh, uh, choice so that time you, you can use plugins or something like that for a, a small letters or title or something like that it is manually it will be possible so you can see after staggering uh, all of these layers uh, three frames uh, gap you can see the animation is actually really coming along and it's actually looking really interesting after that in order to move all of these letters together we can just create a new null object and uh, you can select all of these letters uh, individual letters and parent it to our main uh, null object and we can just move that null object around so we will be able to easily move around our title text after all of this done you can just delete uh, 
the reference layer and uh, you can just uh, select every letter including the null object and we can just create a uh, new uh, pre comp and you can just name it as uh, title animation after that uh, in order to make it a little bit uh, interesting we can just add a simple glow effect onto that layer since we have a color animation as well uh, fill animation as well uh, when you add some glow and uh, adjust that uh, glow intensity and a glow radius as well it will have a really interesting look as well the glow color also will be changing and it will give a bit more you know uh, pop in animation and it will have a much more impact uh, compared to a uh, normal text animation so uh, you can just reduce that uh, intensity halfway so it will not have a like really uh, a big impact on that uh, animation uh, because if that uh, glow is too much uh, people will not be you know uh, watching it more closely so uh, this is our simple title animation i hope you guys liked it and if you like the video please do uh, share your opinions comments and things like that and uh, like the video and as well as share the video with your friends as well and uh, thank you for watching